What happens when someone hires a family member as a real estate agent to sell their home and the relationship falls apart? Hi everyone, my name is Mike Rennick. I am the senior broker and the team lead with Team Rennick Real Estate Services. We're part of that great Keller Williams on the Water family, serving the west coast of Florida. My guest this morning is a local prominent, infamous, I didn't bring my cheat sheet today, but I can't say enough good things about him. He's board certified, Mr. Hankin of Hankin and Hankin. Michael, good morning, welcome. Good morning, Mike, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Let's do a disclaimer right up front. You hear some noise in the background. We're actually at uh, Toasted Mango, which is a restaurant here on 41. It's a great restaurant. We enjoyed a beautiful breakfast this morning. But right next door, there's construction going on for a new condominium association. As part of the ambiance of Sarasota right now, we've got a lot of growth going on. The city fathers are doing a good job of controlling the growth, making it fit into what the city is all about. So I apologize for the noise up front. What we have is we got an email from a viewer, her name is Jenny, and Jenny, in her mind, made a mistake. In this case, she hired her brother to sell her home. Her brother has a real estate license. And now Jenny's very unhappy because the photographs that were put up weren't taken by a professional. There doesn't seem to be any open houses, no evidence of marketing, things like that. So Jenny is perplexed is a word she used and wants to know what her options might be. So legally, the standard form listing contract that's primarily used does not have any right of termination on behalf of the owner or seller of the property. The right of termination in the standard listing agreement is a conditional right of termination, which says that a broker may agree. Okay. So it is extremely important when hiring a broker that you hire somebody that you want to work with that is the most qualified person. Let me ask a question, let me interject. So her brother, who is a real estate agent, did he, does he own this listing? You're using a word broker, he's an agent. That's what correct. does that mean in Florida? So technically in Florida, only brokers are allowed to actually conduct real estate purchases and sales on behalf of clients for commissions and brokers are then licensed under Florida law to hire agents who perform the actual services. Now because of the way that's set up in Florida, the broker technically owns the listing. So her brother's boss if you would, right? Correct. So there's two different individuals in this, in this equation right now besides the seller. That's correct. Okay. And Ginny's brother, although he is an agent, is likely not the broker, which means that the listing is owned by Ginny's brother's boss. So someone else in the office, the, man, the, the lead person, or if it's a smaller brokerage, the, the broker owner kind of person. Correct, and I'm gonna guess Ginny's brother's boss is likely not Ginny's family member as well. Right. So may not agree to conditionally terminate. May say, Jenny's brother, you're not doing a good job. We're gonna hire a different agent here to handle the listing and technically Jenny would be obligated to work with that other agent. So it gets a little complex. So even if Jenny feels the, the company, her brother, isn't doing a good job, she doesn't have a whole lot of options at that point if the broker wants to continue with the listing. That's correct. Now, if the broker wants good customer service, maybe he puts a better agent involved or he counsels the brother, whatever. But let me ask this. Isn't there a way to avoid all of this in the beginning? There is, and we see this quite often where people will pick an agent based upon a family relationship, a friendly relationship. They'll pick it on so many other qualities and characteristics other than the ability of the agent to do the thing that they're being hired to do, which is list a property for sale or help that person buy a property. 
And while it's wonderful to give back to friends and family, and that's important, we should always do that to the extent possible, I might caution people not to do that on the largest investment of their life. Hire the most qualified person. You're going to get a better price. You're going to wind up doing, having a better result at the end of the day by having a better person do the work. Let's give a couple of examples of that. So let's, you want someone looking out for your best interests. So if uh, you're going to have four wisdom teeth taken out, and let's say you waited much longer than you should have, so they're impacted, would you take your, uh, your son's girlfriend who just graduated from dental school and just opened up shop? Or would you seek out a specialist at that point that's been doing this for many years? We all want the most qualified person performing services for us. And for some reason, that makes complete logical sense when you talk about it being a dentist or a physician. Of course you'd go to the most important person. Or someone teaching you how to fly an airplane. Correct. Right. right. You wouldn't necessarily say, you know, my son really enjoys flying airplanes <laughs> and just graduated from flight school last week. He should fly the rest of our family around. We'll give him the business. Yes. No, you, you hire the best pilot to keep you safe. For some reason, and maybe it's our fault, real estate agents aren't looked upon that way. But a true real estate agent is a professional. They're educated. They're schooled. They do continuous education. And the good ones are focused on their client, what's best for them, and getting themselves better at the same time. So I would propose that um, Jenny, in this case, may have made a mistake that a lot of us have made and has hired a relative or a friend to list her house. Unfortunately, this outcome is not unique and I hear about it all the time. So if you fall down that trap, the only thing you can do is escalate to the broker. I recommend you would support really taking a long, hard look at who the right agent is and that way you avoid the, the pitfall, you avoid the disappointing results. Does that make sense, Mike? It does. And this is not an exception where you can hire somebody out of a family relationship. This is, for most people, the largest transaction of their lives. And because of that, it needs to be done by somebody with requisite skill and experience to do it properly. And that is getting you the best price for a sale, that's getting you the best price for a purchase, that's helping you navigate the inspection process, that's helping you understand uh, issues that may come up in the title process. There's, there's many different parts to it. This is not a, a simple thing where you just go and look at homes and it's a fun process. And, e and even good agents are gonna surround themselves, let me build upon a point you just made, a good agent's going to have professional inspectors. They're going to have attorneys they can refer to if problems occur. There's title companies. All of that comes with the agent and they can recommend. The client ultimately makes the decision, but the agent can, can recommend a lot of good folks on the extended team. Just you know, to get a, a client qualified for a mortgage, it's getting easier, but it's, it's not easy today. What after we went through for a few years ago, so a good agent, a good broker, can help maneuver through a lot of those things. Go ahead. How do you pick a good agent, Mike? What, uh, what are some characteristics a buyer or seller should look for? You know, I love that question. I'm getting the, uh, the wave from the folks behind the, the clock that our time is almost up. What if we start next week? I like that we've introduced a new factor that we'll, we introduced this week, what we'll be talking about next week. So let's come back and let's share our thoughts on how do you do exactly that? Because I've got some things I feel pretty strong about. I'm sure you do also. I think that sounds great. I think that would be really useful to, uh, to our listeners. Thank you, I appreciate it. Mike, welcome again. Thank you, Thanks, I Mike. appreciate it. Thanks we'll be so back much. again next week to talk about what's right with real estate from an ethical and a legal point of view. Thanks for watching, everyone.